This will be the first video in a series of videos I'll make, where I'll attempt to provide some clarifications into the sometimes confusing world of video security systems. The benefits of having video security at your house are undeniable. Imagine being anywhere in the world when you suddenly get an email from your video security showing your front door and a picture of who's currently standing at it. When you start shopping around for your own system, you're going to find out you have to learn to speak a whole new language. And if you don't speak this language, you'll probably buy something that does not fit your needs. There are currently a lot of vendors selling video security systems. So when you hit the internet to try to do your research, you'll find a lot of conflicting information. Some of these vendors deliberately post bad information about their competitors to try to increase their sales. One of these vendors even claims that analog cameras are no longer being made. Obviously, this is because they want you to buy digital. Additionally, some vendors will lie about their own products. Examples are selling you a kit that has a DVR incapable of recording at the same resolution as the cameras in the kit. Or vice versa, not giving you cameras capable of meeting their DVR's requirements. The sales pitch for these systems will either give you the resolution for the camera or the DVR, but not both. They may brag that they can record video for two weeks, but not tell you that recording is in SIF resolution, which is pretty useless for clear playback. Don't worry, I'll explain what all these acronyms mean later. Distance quotes for wireless cameras may claim 300 feet line of sight. They don't mention obstacles will cut that down. For example, throw in a couple walls, now you're down to a 100 foot distance. Camera TVL equivalents, or resolution, are overstated. People will pay more money for 1,000 TVLs than they will for 600. Oh, and one of my favorites, night vision overstatements. You can see 150 feet at night with my camera. Maybe if you want to see that there's a building on the other side of the street, but you want to recognize a person, bring them within about 10 feet. Having said all that, there are actually a lot of good companies out there. My goal with this series of videos is to provide you with the knowledge you'll need to know when you actually see a quality system. How to set it up, how to operate it, and how to improve an existing video system that you're not happy with. In the next video in this series, I'll discuss the pros and cons for each of the different types of video systems you can purchase. I'll compare them to each other and try to give you enough information to make an informed decision when you decide to pick one.